actually said when uh, there was a, a race in South Carolina and you said the pro-life party, as you call them, is the strongest force in South Carolina. And so as we sit here and talk about an autopsy for the GOP, where does the pro-life party, as you call them, stand on this violent insurrection now that we have at least five dead bodies uh, on the floor? Well, the, the pro-life party is one that, 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 that is a movement that is consistent. It's consistently voted for the Republican policies and consistently been there. So certainly uh, you're not electorally going to leave them behind. And they also, if you look at our national platforms, are there. That's a complete argument of pro-choice versus pro-life. But certainly I'm not going to turn my back on, on, on that individual, those individuals, or that movement. But what about the racism? I mean, like, there, there is no question now. I think a lot of us have always known that the Republican Party, uh, you know, is an apologist, sympathizer, or perpetuator of racist policies. Where do you stand on that now? A disproportionate number of people of color watch this show. What do you say to the rising majority of this country who looks at this party and says, yeah, you're celebrating people who tried to seize the U.S. Capitol. You're saying Donald Trump is the face of your party. But a lot of the folks who are elected officials kowtow to him the entire time. How can you speak to the rising majority of this country and convince them that that is not your ideology? Or are you even interested in convincing them of that? Well, I think it's not a true statement that we're celebrating the people who attacked the Capitol. I mean, well, that, you look at Matt Gaetz, you look at uh, Lindsey Graham. That's I mean, you look at the people who sat on the floor, that. Jim Jordan, uh, Kevin McCarthy, who did a complete 180. What am I missing? Yeah, they weren't. You were missing that they weren't celebrating it. Those people will be held responsible. But what, 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 what I think the question that you've asked is, is what do you think the future of the Republican Party is? And the future is going to be back in the states. And we've got 2022. With the House of Representatives coming up, we've got a challenge of, 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 of testing in two shots that the Biden administration is going to have to deliver. And those are the litmus tests that are going to be in front of us. Uh, what Donald Trump did do for the Republican Party is, and surprising is, he, he increased our minority participation further than I ever thought we would have seen it. How that happened is up to another autopsy. But nine million new folks was pretty important to us. Yeah, 9 million new folks who've welcomed a QAnon supporter in the Capitol and members of Congress who are trying to bring guns on the House floor. I don't know if that's something to celebrate, quite honestly, Caden, but I do.